in Detroit, where I'm originally from, which is beautiful this time of year, by the way. <laughs> if you can go, go, because the way the sunlight hits the poverty, it's just, wow. <laughs> We've had medical marijuana for like a while, which is an awful idea because unemployment's like f fucking super high in Detroit. And pot's probably not the best motivator for anyone <laughs> to get a job. Like you ever heard two potheads talk about getting a job? No. Like what, what would that even just, we should get jobs. What? What? That's it, that's the end of the <laughs> conversation. And I don't get high anymore, I don't. Unless it's with an Indian, because they'll show you the future. <laughs> Get in a teepee, figure it out, go back to community college. <laughs> all of my friends have their medical marijuana license, which is fine, like, it's all right, but none of them have a medical condition that calls for it, you know what I mean? So now they're just like stoners with cards, they're just like, I'm legal. It's like, you're still a fucking douchebag who just <laughs> does nothing all day. <laughs> Right? And it's fine if you feel like you smoke pot. Does anybody here smoke pot? You guys get high? Anybody? Yeah. What? Wait a minute. If you guys are here, who's back at the youth hostel charging our cell phones? I, uh... <laughs> it's fine if you smoke pot, but there's one type of stoner I hate being around, and that's that person who, when they do get high, they think it makes them smarter somehow. Do you know one of these shitheads? And I realize there are certain things I can't do with that friend while he's stoned anymore. Like, I can't watch movies with him anymore. Here's what happened a few weeks ago. We were watching a movie. He's smoking a joint. I'm completely sober. We're watching Return of the Jedi. I don't want to ruin the movie for you guys. <laughs> but at one point in Return of the Jedi, a spaceship explodes. And my buddy leans over and he goes, you know that would never actually happen in real life. <laughs> Bro, you'd never see a fireball in space because fire needs oxygen to survive. <laughs> and there's zero oxygen in space. So that shit would never happen. <laughs> and I was like, you know what, you're right. And while we're at it, I don't think those are real Ewoks either. <laughs> Pretty sure those are just dwarves dressed up as bears. <laughs> I'm surprised you could see that with your glaucoma. <laughs> Thanks, Bill Nye. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it so much.